Right then. I'm going to be firing up. Um, I'm going to be fighting, firing up rather, not fighting up. I'm going to be firing up Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. And I have found a disc that had nothing on it. So I've just formatted it. And that will be my save disc. So I can actually play this and then carry on, which will be good. Because usually when I fire up um, a game, I don't have a save disc. Which means I've played the first dozen levels of um, cannon fodder a thousand times, but there we are. In fact, we might play a bit of cannon fodder later on. All depends on how I how I feel with the fate of Atlantis. Excuse the uh, squeaky chair, by the way. get our manual out as we're going to be doing the copy protection in a few seconds good old fashioned copy protection I did fire up this game last night. I did stream it a little bit, but only just to test that it all sort of fired up. Um, it came from a pretty good source, so I'm hoping that all the discs are okay, but I haven't verified them or anything, so we'll find out. Oh, well, that's just the fun of it. Well, no, terrible when the game doesn't work, but there you are. Right then, press enter to begin. So, uh, find sun number two on page seven. So here we go. Well, there we go, we got page seven. And we need to find sun number two. So we've got to get the sun over to, there you go, you can see there. So the sun needs to go There, moon number three, moon three is, if you can see that, down in that corner, so, always be careful because you press the button a couple of times and then it keeps going um, and what are we going for? Volcano number one Volcano one is over here there we are and then press the spindle and hope we got it right I'd like to, I need to get the camera sorted out so I can have things like this and the big boxes and all those sort of things on there at the same time. I really want to have, but let's see.
Right now, I did play through this um, intro-y bit, uh, but it was quite funny, so we'll uh, we'll just persevere through it. It's a shame, though. Well, persevere. Persevere's a bit harsh, though. But it's a, it's a shame, because actually the first time through it, it was quite funny. And it was some nice surprises in there, because you feel like, oh, you're in... It's like you're starting off in some crypt somewhere. And it's not. You're just in the roof of the school. And since I know where he is, why on earth did he just swing in using his whip? And also, why is he dressed ready for action? Because, I mean, oh well, anyway, you'll see. So what's this? A statue. Assistant Governor of Shiva. I won't be narrating everything that's said. Last thing you need is my dulcet tones talking over it. Lots of little things. Gargoyles. It's a medieval or good imitation. Yeah. And what's this? It's a peculiar statue. Oh, can't quite get to it. Or is it that? Oh, I thought it was this down here yesterday. It's this. Peculiar statue. It must be when this came out. It must have been. And I never played this, by the way. Um, I've never played this game before. I certainly don't know any of the puzzles in it. I know it's kind of highly regarded in the point-and-click adventure world, and I used to love point-and-click adventures. But for whatever reason, I never had this game. And um, I've even shied away from watching any streams. I did catch. I went into a. Uh, a retro stream um, that I follow and um, they were just finishing it literally on the very last bit I was like no and I spoiled it myself for the but I don't care it's the journey rather than the destination I'll keep telling myself that big crate and he's gonna say it's just a crate label says unidentified pot shirts okay Let's have a look at this gaping hole. It certainly does look dangerous. The rope would be useful. We'll pick that up in a sec. What's the totem pole? Yeah, this game back in back in the nineties would have been or was, you know, your triple A title. I mean it was 
big budget, the amount of um, time and effort that's gone into this, the level of the animation, the uh, the number of scenes, the way they have all these cutaways, it's quite nuts. Pretty amazing, an awful lot of work, an awful lot of time has gone into this, massive amounts of artistic ability as well from for the game industry back then. Getting as much out of the hardware as they could. Books on weapons. Read them all. Fair enough. Exit. Can I just exit? Can I just exit? No. We're going to do what I did last night. Well, that's worrying, isn't it? When you get sound, uh, uh, the sounds go a bit screwed up. That's a, kind of worrying. But it's just for the, I guess, the transitioning, or I don't know. I don't Right then. Now I know what to do to trigger it. Let's have a quick look around before we do that. Actually there's nothing to there's nothing to look at. They just run out of steam at this point, they thought forget this. Can I hold that there with something? I must have must have something I can prop that up with. Oh well. Never mind for the moment. Well, that'll do. Alright, let's go and have a look at these cat figurines. That was a different cat this time. I guess it just does it on the second thing you click. That's fair enough. Well, that would take a little bit, wouldn't it? Well, I suppose you've got the animation already there, and you just go right the first time you click it, you say this, second time, trigger that animation on whichever one it's clicked. Yeah. Oh, blimey, language. It's hot, sure it is. Now I think anything that you can interact with, take or anything like that, the text is white. I think. And the only reason I think that is from when I went into the lockers. Let's try the right locker, see if it randomises this one. Yeah, it does. So whichever one is your last one is the one that has the the artifact you're looking for. 
Oh, that's interesting. Ah, it's not white. Oh, I don't know then. Okay, uh, let the disc swapping commence. Oh, it, it goes all over the place, this game. It goes disc 2, disc 1, disc 11, all over. It will have to be back to disc 1 again or something like that now. Oh yeah. This one. And it's like disc eleven or something like that. Or maybe it goes to disc eleven for an animation it needs from somebody later in a few seconds. Spoilers. Who appears later on. Now I could install all this to hard drive. I could, but we'll play it as it should be, kind of. We'll play it from all the discs first of all. And then if we get completely annoyed by it, then we'll install it all to hard drive. Disc one again. Okay. Smith. This changes for a cutaway animation, although it's a very good one. I like the way they did that. So just like having the hand appear or just having it pop up or I don't even know if they could make it move graphic that large. Probably not. Otherwise they would have done.
here we go disc 10 because we've got an animation we're going to have from later in the game He's got a gun! He's got a ruddy gun! Where is Fritz? I understand. I would imagine that is where is Fritz. Age of the Third Reich. How wonderful. And also, if you were an Age of the Third Reich, why would you carry your spy passport in your pocket of your lab coat so that, you know, keep it. Oh well, whatever. Let's not pick holes in it. It's a game. It's not meant to make perfect sense. Disc three. Powering up the discs now. I've got eleven discs in total for this game.
practice too, right? And then we can actually start. Where's my manual? I'm just going to double check how we save. Disc 11 again. Blimey. I'm missing anything or bits of the wrong things. I'm just flicking through the manual. Here we go, how do we save? The save load game function key, F1. Okay, right, let's just double check it, F1. Okay, I want to save. Wait a second, I need to put this disc in. Hang on, cancel this, cancel, cancel. cancel. Insert save load game disk, right. Save. And we'll do it as um we'll do it as Today's date, so we'll just do 17 May 2019. Um, skip intro. Okay, we'll do that. So you want this two back. Cool. Right, well at least now we know we can save.
Okay, let's start. So. I don't want to walk to the taxi. Walk to the ticket taker. Talk to her. So it's all sold out. And we're not going to be able to do anything at all. No seats, no specs. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Can't get in there. What's this? Is there anything up there? No, it's just the cars going past. Walk to the newspaper. Look at the newspaper. It's today's paper. Can I pick up the paper. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Look at national archaeology. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Want to look at it? Oh, okay, we are looking at it. Just took a little bit of time. When I thought we might like each other, ooh, uh, a little bit more there. Fair enough. What does this? Can we interact with any of this? I don't think so. No. Let's inspect the phone booth. You might find a coin or who knows. Let's use it. Can't make a call. No to nickels. Fair enough. Can we look at? Oh, hi, hi. you're punishing me by giving me disc changes while I look at something. Oh, I love that. So you made me change the disc just to say I don't see anything special about it. Right. Thanks. Thanks very much. So, side door. I know that the bouncery guy comes out the side door. So we will talk to him shortly. Let's just look at all the things. What have we got? Look at the crate. It's a crate. Fair enough. Can I walk through here? I don't think I can, can I? Looks like it might lead backstage. Well, that sounds good to me. I love the way Indiana Jones cannot climb over these crates. How do you stop Indiana Jones? Just put a bunch of crates in front of him. He cannot. He's, he's got some aversion to climbing crates. I understand the snakes. I understand the fear of snakes. But climbing crates? Come on. Okay. 
Let's check the bin, I think. And we got nothing at the moment that we can distract him with if that's the technique. Let's go to open door. Let's just say I'm here to enjoy Madame's Madame's outrageous orations. This ain't that kind of show. Okay, I think there's a misunderstanding here. Let's try and get into a fight. I don't know. Go on in, let's start a fight. There's going to be some actual mechanics to this, isn't there? I'm, I'm going to regret not reading more of the manual. Oh well, well, well I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what pops up. Figure it out on the fly, or die trying. Do I? What do I do? Oh, I do just. I just use the. Oh, I would do so. I click on him where I want to hit him. Get a bit closer. I'm not very good at this. In the face, go on. No, you haven't got the you've got the reach to can I use these? Oh, I can just lie on the floor. The Biff hasn't got a lot of power. It's got a bit more health and also I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Look, it wasn't Nazi's boy. Okay, so this is a good little sparring thing, so we can get used to the the fighting mechanic. Go on in. Let's have a look in the manual. Which says about fighting. Ah, okay. Remember, picking a fight is dangerous. Losing can lead to the game's abrupt end. If you choose the action path. You will find it necessary to fight your way out of several situations. Choose the action path. Paths. At certain points in the game, you will find yourself back in Indy's office with a decision to make. Should you persuade Sophia to continue with Indy on your search, the team path? path? Do you want to proceed on your own, using your intellect to overcome the obstacles in your way, the wits path? 
or would you rather spice up your quest with a little more action? The fists path. Hmm. We suggest you reserve a games a save game slot for this decision. Yeah, we'll do. Oh, that sounds cool. That sounds really good. So, uh, so let's look at the fighting. So. In most cases, you can sucker punch your opponent and win the fight. See your reference card for the appropriate key on your computer. Okay, right. Let's get the reference card out. Here's our reference card, original. Now, I've got a slight problem with this because instantly I can see the the keyboard is using the numpad, which I don't have on the Amiga 600. Ah, handy. So it's, it is obviously optional. And it's not really an option for me, so we won't bother. Okay, let's read up on the fighting. Um, you can sucker punch. Hang on. Go on, show me sucker punch. What's sucker punch then? Oh. We can block as well. It would be handy to have a uh, a numpad then, but zero is punch out or wimp out. Uh. Say anything about sucker punch, but we'll we'll look it up. We'll we'll figure it out. So uh, your opponent, okay, you can your opponent and win the fight. Keep in mind that you don't get IQ points for this option. Notice the displays for health and punch, both for Indy and below that for his opponents. If either combat is hit, his health decreases. When health drops to a dangerous level, the display will change to a warning yellow. When the drop in health becomes critical, the display will become red. When a combatant's health is entirely used up, he will be knocked unconscious. If Indy rests between fights, he will heal, and his health power will return to normal. The punch power display shows how powerful Indy's swing will be. Each time Indy tries to hit, his punch power takes a few moments to build back up to its maximum. If Indy swings again too quickly, he will hit with ma he will not hit with maximum power. Of course, it may be more important to keep the enemy off balance than to hit for maximum effect. Indy can punch high, middle, or low, and try to get past his opponent's defenses. Each enemy has his own individual strengths and weaknesses. To punch your opponent, position the cursor on him high, middle or low, and press either mouse button. You can switch to keyboard controls to fight the enemy. Indy also has some defensive moves. His opponents often set their fists a moment before they try to punch. If you watch for this and have Indy block at the same level, by positioning the cursor on Indy, either high, middle or low, and clicking, you can successfully block a punch. 
Also, Indy can step back to increase the distance between himself and his opponent. This can be used to buy a little time for Indy to recover some of his punch power. If you don't like the way the fight is going, you can make your escape by repeatedly backing Indy away from his opponent. But it doesn't tell me how to do that, I assume it's just click away. Okay, cool. I'm guessing we can't get into that fight again then if we have to rest, but... Let's see if we can talk to him. Or maybe I do just have to beat him up. Sorry I offended you. Go on in. See if we can appeal to his better nature. Okay, we're sort of talking him around. Right, so he's not going to understand this cerebrum. He's not going to understand obfuscate. He's very smart, or she's very pretty. What do we think? I think we're going to go for smart. She tosses her head when she laughs. The way she makes things so easy to understand. The way she hires poor men. Okay, right. So we're going to go with tossing her hair, head. Sorry, when she laughs. We'll go with that. I've never seen a laugh. Okay, right. Well, we fogged it. Wait a minute. Why don't we take no for an answer? Because it's an, it's a point and click adventure, mate. I'm going to keep pressing it constantly until I get through it, like a brick wall being hammered through by a woodpecker. Very determined woodpecker. <laughs> Alright, we got somewhere with the smart. So we're going to try that. I'm going to think they talk, make things easy. It's easy to understand. There we go. Yeah, success. I assume. A disc change may mean success. That's it. Yay. Well, that smart stuff seems so easy when I'm listening to her. So we could have beaten him up, but instead we've used our, our wit to get through it. That is good. Good to know there's these different avenues that we can take. Which is good because I think I'm going to be pretty rubbish at the uh, fighting.
Ooh, change of music. Wonderful. So is this the lady? Yep. Is this dude? Stage hand. Oh, levers. Okay. Can I just walk up to her? Let's give it a go. He's probably going to stop me. Yeah. So no, call that fraud over here. Will you? No, whoops, sorry, but okay. So I want a reading. That's what it's going to be. Okay, so we're not. Gonna get it that way. That's anything else? I'm guessing he's not gonna let us just press the levers, but we can give it a go. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need to get rid of him. I am loving these cutscenes, eh? I would have loved this in the 90s, but, you know, at least I get to enjoy it now. And we're paying attention. There was some circular thing. Okay. Let's talk to him, see if we can get through his um, dialogue tree. Oh, we just have to keep going back and watching it. Right, so we interact with him so we can watch the... the animation
Slight heart attack moment there, I couldn't find disc 6. I think it was missing. Can we talk to you? Yes, okay. Right, you look tired, wouldn't you like to call it a day? Okay. Man told me to tell you you're fired. No, isn't there something you'd rather be doing? No, you know this lecture bores me stiff. Okay, you look tired, wouldn't you like to call it a day? We'll give that a go. The next one would be, if this doesn't go ahead, isn't there something you'd prefer to be doing? Then we'll like, like, get a run with the ghost. Give me your dialogue tree. We will get through it. Tell me you're fired. No, isn't there something that you ought to be doing? Yeah, let's go with that. No. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What we got? No, we'll go with any hobbies. Ah, you read. Okay. What if I give you something to read? I've got the newspaper. So we will give a newspaper to a stagehand. Okay, good, good. Progress. Okay. Oh, we got buttons as well. Let's have a look at them. Well, let's just use. Hit the. Use the buttons or whatever we've got. Use the middle lever. The right lever, whichever. Okay. Push, maybe? Maybe we've got to do the all. Not up with it. Push the left lever. Hey, all right. I expect something to happen. We got button. There was a button, wasn't there? Uh, somewhere. Okay, 
let's just push button. Wherever that button is there. No, oh, come out of the way. Come out of the way, Indy. Where is the button? Oh, that there. Okay, cool, cool. Push the button. Nothing happened. Alright, okay, so... Pull the middle lever. So we'd, we've got to get the combination correct. Oh. Oh, okay, we could be all good to go. Push. The button. Where is the button? There. Indy. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> Good night, folks. Show's over. Move along. Thanks for your money. EJ. Oh, prepare for disc changes. has been trashed. Stay put. Uh, stay in this crime scene that's uh, potentially hazardous. Yes, two. All the disc swapping. Right, Indy's off then. He can't be bothered. <laughs> Just for that. Blow me! Ah. All, all the, all the discs swapping, all the, everything. Just for that. Mm. Uh, fun, fun, fun. Dude's hiding behind a crate. Yeah, told you. He knows how to climb over crates. Hang on, if he can get through there, what can Indy?
I'm very blonde. I'm very tall. No, I haven't seen a newspaper because I didn't have the option to read it. German wizard. Split atom. So I don't even light a match. I never find enough uranium. I thought like they're dreaming to me. Practical results are years away. We'll go with this one. Not sure how this maybe it affects if she becomes convinced or your friend. I think practical results are years away. A few atoms so I don't even light a match. I mean, no, that's wrong. I never find enough uranium. No, we go with the practical results a years away. Might not even be an important answer, you know, answer but oh well. We stole things from my expedition! been dealing goods on the black market yet you never published a word about your finds you've been concealing important artifacts I'll say stole things, we're going to be stole oh she's getting changed Yep. Watch closely. Up here, indeed. Not down there. Was this metal first mentioned by Plato? I 
I've got to say that it, if it's anything like uranium, you won't be putting that next to your skin. <laughs> okay, right. Closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not in interested in spiritual mumbo jumbo. Uh, don't try your psychic act on me. No, why? Um. I'll go for no, why? Idea where to find your mythical lost city. It has been underwater for centuries. Who knows where these beads really came from? You may have just used the last beads. We'll go with that one. Lost dialogue of Pluto. Hmm, that book is legendary hoax. Plato wrote it, later authors would have reported it. I think Plato just wanted to tell a tall tale. It's not in any library I've ever been in. Oh, there we go with that. Almost like a, almost like we're believing her a little bit. And, right. So, found stuff in Iceland or. What were the pieces doing in Iceland? I think that's a better one. Um, how do the Nazis get interested in Iceland? That's also a good one. Why Iceland? Why not Florida where it's warm? Okay, we go with... How do pieces get into Iceland? Right, this two, I'm guessing we're going to save, just in case. This
I'm thinking that viewers should have a drinking game. Whenever we change a disc, you have a drink. I wouldn't pick anything too strong for this for Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Um, disc two, drink. Right. Disc three, rather. There we go. Oh, we got a whip now. So we're all geared up, ready to rock. As soon as we get to a screen that we can pull up the save menu, we'll do that. I'm conscious about this fighting thing that I can get actually killed. So if I can get killed in a fight, I might be able to get killed um, just on the screen, you know, just on a, an obstacle or something like that. It'd be a big fall or a thing fall down our head. I might blast through this a bit. So to get to the two hour odd mark, see how we're feeling. And then maybe far up um Lotus Lotus Turbo Challenge or something like that. Just for a bit of bit of fun. A bit of um bit of some action y sort of fun. But we'll see. Right, let's save. So, so we do here. Um, here we go. So seventeen. Oh, come out of the way. May 2019 and we'll just oh, I guess we'll just go just to go with numbers uh, and 21 would not be the right number one I'm going to grab a coffee in a sec as well. Right. We won't walk back there just yet. What have we got on here? Anything we can interact with? No. What's going on? Oh, oh I know what it is. Oh, I was going to say I know what it is. I, was, I thought it was because the Discord in. Let's go to the old dig site, that's the obvious thing to do. He's going to need the disc in a sec to load the assets. Disc three. Fine. I've been playing through loads of uh, point and clicks recently. I played through the um, Discworld, or I didn't go all the way through. I got I got quite far. I've stopped at the moment, but I've I was playing Discworld on my Pentium Two laptop, streaming that, 
Um, I wasn't too happy with the way it was capturing the VGA though, so that's why I've stopped doing that at the moment. But as soon as I uh, get a better way to capture and stream VGA uh, from that laptop, or if I can purchase another laptop that's got some... It wasn't so much a laptop, it was just the device I'm using for, to capture is an old one I used to use back in the old days for broadcast. Let's have a look at that ice obscured object first. Okay. We look at the eel figurine now that we've identified it. Oh no, we're just going to talk to Dr. Bjorn. Okay, uh, I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. Not feeling friendly there, are we? Doctor, what do you expect to find here? I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Okay, so I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. Not feeling friendly. Okay, I'm going North Norse graves. to find here. But yeah, so I was capturing VGA uh, from my, um, my Pentium 2 but it, the graphics on all the animations was getting a weird sort of shuttery effect really stuttery on the actual screen uh, on the actual capture so I'm trying to find a way to do that and then I'll play it again from the start all the way through um, to have an archive of those um, of that game but in a better quality that's the plan I lost any time for the itinerary, don't know, but Sophia has no idea. No, but I'm sure you're going to tell them. Um, I'll go with the Sophia has no idea. I've got quite a lot for, quite a lot of games for um, old, the old um, PCs. You know, DOS and 95 era. So I do want to get those going, but the thing is that I love Amiga games. But I've also got all the obvious stuff like NESs, SNESs, Mega Drives, um, PlayStation, my PS2s, and tons of games for all of those. I've got my Dreamcast as well. Lost Dialogue. Being shut up. These guys. Supernatural. Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll go with the place has lost dialogue. Okay, well something's happening. Disc one. Okay, cool, we'll get you somewhere. Okay, why did these beings show up here? It's an annoying soundtrack, that bit. OK. 
Okay. Do you completely discount Supernatural? No. Well, i to find you the spaceports. What's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Do you say a piece of Nope. So we go with completely discount supernatural. Just see if this comes up with anything else. Homing beacon. What? Okay. Alright, I think we've got everything out of this person. Can we talk to. I like the way that they've gone off to one corner. I think good doctor's got frostbite in the brain. Go on then, we'll just see what happens. Okay, let's... There's nothing else around here, is there? There's nothing obvious anyway. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I picked up a load of um, new big box games. I've got Cruise for a Corpse, which I might do next. I'm not necessarily going to play all the way through one game and um, until it's completely finished, unless that's what people are interested in. I mean, I'm kind of playing it how I like to play games. Which, if they're sucking me in, I'm going to be playing it all the way through. I want to get through the story. If I um, if I'm getting a bit fatigued with a game, just like you know, back in the back in the nineties when I was playing, you get a bit fatigued with playing, you know, a point and click constantly. You um, yeah, you go and you fire up, I don't know, Chuck Rock or something like that, play that for half an hour or twenty minutes, and then come back to it. So it's nothing we. Can we just open it? I don't think it's. I mean, the fact that it's here. Oh, okay, we can. We can do something with it. No, it doesn't seem to open. Fair enough. And there's no up here. Fine, I think we've got everything. Everything we can get. We've just got info. So we've got some more leads. Choose where we're going to go. Hmm. 
Let's go to Carl. This ten. Fair enough. Hmm. Okay, entrance to the jungle. Please don't be a jungle maze. I hate mazes in games. What's that? Better not be a snake. Ah, jungle rodent. Look at it. Looks like a jungle rodent. Well, oh, accurate, accurate description there. We'll just keep walking. Am I going to have to catch that damn thing? Yeah, okay. We're going to need a map, aren't we? Before we can go in there. We're going to need a map or something, a torch, who knows. But there's something that we need to be able to go in there without just walking back out like we're lost. So let's go back to the truck. Right, on that I'm going to grab a coffee.
Right, so we've got to go to this Azurus. No other option. Well, that was a nice little animation I put on that. I don't seem simple, but it didn't have to. Unfortunately, they crashed. Just go and walk in. We mess about with his brolly. What can we do? Let's go in, I guess. Open that door. Drink the coffee. You mean okay? Sorry. See, these days I take that as being actually, I do need to perhaps take when it comes up to the dialogue tree, I need to pander to him a bit. But he knows something about Plato's Lost Dialogue, he knows something about Atlantis. Do you have a bathroom? No, I can use. We'll go with the Lost Dialogue. I'm indie. You've not seen the movies. I'm a fellow believer. I could go with that. Yeah, go with. I'm a fellow believer. I'm trying to find out. I reckon that might be a good one to go for.
we'll go along with it. We don't want to be disbelieving of him. Okay, we're gonna try it again. I think we must we we messed up that that dialogue tree. No, he's not coming out. There was nothing of those none of those answers would have um would have come back with anything else. Let's talk to Sophia. How to get mixed up with this screwball? Mm -hmm. You talk to the man, I think that might work. Now that's cool, so I get to play as her. Now, does this mean I've got two chances? Or does it mean that the only way to do it is through her dialogues? I'm hoping it's the latter. just has to learn to be more tactful. We need some help from you. Actually, he's named after the family dog. We need some help from you. We'll go with the top one. I think that's an odd one to go with. Have you read it? Could be one. Can you get it for me? Is it is a bit too much, a bit like the top one. Do you know where it is? Do you know where it is? We'll cover all the bases. Okay, have you read it? Can you get it for me? Well, he doesn't know where it is, so he's not going to be able to get it, is he? Hmm. Do you know where we could find it? Well, he doesn't know where it is, he said. Well, wow, necklace then. Okay.
Would you do business with my friend? Although we've got nothing at the moment. What disc do you want this time, Amiga? Take the opportunity to look at it. No. Let's talk to Indy as Sophia. Okay, I think you better take over so we can swap roles. Follow me, Indy. Oh, does Indy Indiana Jones just wait there? Okay, let's swap back. Let's swap back. Mind you, hang on, who, who, who is there? No, I don't think there's anyone else that we're talking to yet, so we can't use her to talk to anyone. Let's see if we can talk to him now and find out what he'd like. That was a nice way that they introdu introduced you to that mechanic. Let's talk about a trade. I hear you know something about Atlantis. Do you have a bathroom in there I can use? Go on, we'll try that, see if we can get into his place. talking to him and asking him about that trade. Let's talk about a trade. Oh, you know something about Atlantis. Let's try him on this one. to believe we'll go with this. Okay, maybe she's got to talk to him all the time. Maybe they keep it as they're keeping it as simple as that. So she's got to do the any negotiating with him, any sort of talking. How do we get mixed up with this screwball here yeah, you talk to? Him. Let's just go through this dialogue, see what comes up. Oh yeah, screwball now I son. Uh you talk to him. Okay. Hello yourself cutie, that will definitely do. Uh, 
Okay, fine. So we're going to swap back to Indy, and then we're going to go back on a plane, go back to, I don't know, New York. See what we can do with that. We better take over. Go to New York, see if there's anything we can do there. Oh good, okay, so we are in a different scene, so there might be someone else to talk to. campus you could have been teaching it yeah we'll go for it Just go and check, see if there's anyone we can talk to. And then we'll save. So if we can find another artifact, we won't be able to trade it. Would they have put that animation in if there wasn't something to look at? The trunk. We'll 
just do walk to trunk. We already have look at trunk. Ow. Nothing useful. Oh, maybe they would do the entire animation just for the... Just to uh, mess with us. Ice box, we'll have a look in the ice box in a sec. A jar. Look at the jar. Can I pick it up? I don't know why it'd be useful. But it's there. Oh, wait a second. That thing in the um, woods might eat it, though. The thing's in the jungle. We got. Look at jar of mayonnaise. Yeah, okay. Have a look at the shelf while we're here. Go. Right, let's get out of here. Um, oh, I didn't want to close the damn door, I want to go out the door. Thanks, game, for waiting for me to have a sip of coffee before asking to change the disc. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. We will just test the theory of feeding that animal for some reason. It might it might go off and then we follow it. Um, but before we do that, we'll save. And then if, if that theory is successful, great, we'll go with that. If it's not, then we will... This too. We will um, have, have a blast of... Uh, We'll have a blast of something else. Maybe a bit of Lotus Turbo Challenge. Or we could do Cannon Fodder. Since we've got a save disc now, we can do that. I could play Cannon Fodder and then use a the save disc and actually get somewhere on it, that'd be good. Because I might play a bit of Cannon Fodder tonight. Or we'll carry on with this maybe. And one of the negative things about all this is uh you know with retro gaming is you tend to acquire an awful lot of games. You not really have the time to play them. So you end up with a quite a large collection and then you can't support for choice. I also have um, two three boxes, um, largest boxes, of thousands and thousands of cover discs and you know backup discs and things like that. So I I do want to go through them all at some point. I've gone through a lot. I've tested out a lot of the Proper discs that I've got. 
that I've acquired over the years, the unboxed, the unboxed um, games things. Walk to the Yucatan. Well, I didn't see that before. This three for Indies animations. That was odd. It came up with Walk to the Yucatan. Oh, I don't know. Right. Is there anything over here? No, we can't go anywhere else. Anything around here? No. Yeah, so we'll try and give this rodent thing. Uh, in fact, we'll save, won't we? Before we do anything else. We'll shove this save disk in. Save. Uh, just in case. Twenty nineteen. Two. Give, give the mayo to the creature. Where are you? It's there. Come on, can't interact with it. Let's just walk about. See if we can get it to come out. So we can. There we are. Walk over this way, get him to the centre of the screen, I hope. Jungle Rodent, there we go. There, yeah, Jungle Rodent. So we'll, um, we'll use, we'll try use. Use the Joromeo on the Jungle Rodent. Well, something's happening, it could just be saying, no, that doesn't work. There's this one, I've got a completely disorganised amount of discs in front of me now. Don't think I'll work, yeah. Use your whip. On the jungle rodent. Does that not work? Use whip. And we're riding. Okay, let's just see if it is just a um, 
a maze that we have to get through. So we've gone to our entrance. How many dark ways do we have in? We have one. We have... Okay, we have one. We have two. We have three. Let's try this one. Or the middle one. Alright, okay. Anaconda. Yeah, Indy's not going to like that. Seem to work. Okay. Use the mayo on the giant and gonda. Okay. Can I just use the whip on the tree? Yeah, it doesn't like the anaconda. Yeah. Understand it didn't work before, but mm. I'll stick that on the tree. No. no. to get the rodent to come out here so the anaconda eats it. Let's try it. So, maybe, so, this, so this is the one to get through. I'll walk over to here and then gone there. No, 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 no. Come back. I want you to walk into this one. So if I can get Indy to walk up there, it might just make the rodent go through. Walk to the rodent. No, he just comes back. Okay, come back, come back. Come back, come back. Right, can you just go here? Walk to the rodents again. When we get him in the middle, we're going to try the whip on him. Oh, fuck at me, Indy. Stop it. Right. We'll try using the whip. Use... Giant rodent. It's too far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 
it's promising then. So if I just walk to here, try it now, use whip jungle rodent. But it's too far away, okay. Just get a little bit closer. Use whip on the rodent. Yeah. Crack. <laughs> this one. Hey, B42. Awesome. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're hopefully about to see a giant jungle rodent being eaten by a large anaconda. Just three. Thank you for the raidage. That's awesome. Good to see the community. Good to see the people here. <laughs> Amiga, damn right Amiga. Amiga 600. And all the discs, we're currently playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis with... Hold on. All the discs. All the discs. So um, I'm just starting this game. I never played it back in the 90s. So I'm looking forward to playing through it. And uh, it's my... Uh, one of my many big box titles I've got is the original big box. Really nice one in mint condition as well. Best computer ever. Absolutely. Well, n n yes. Yes, you're right. It is. I mean, some of the other box uh, box titles that I've picked up recently is uh, I've got this rather shabby uh, Super Street Fighter 2. I have. Right here with me, I've got lots more than just these. I've got Simon the Sorcerer, I don't know if you remember that. I have this weighty beast, very heavy, it's easily uh, a, a kilo in weight because of the size of the manual. I've got this flying fortress, so I'll, I'll be firing that off at some point. Cruise for a corpse. Everyone knows Cruise for a corpse. Got that. Big box, lovely condition that one. A disc for each new level. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. A disc for every asset. So, as I play through this, you'll see. What's going to happen is... So we need to go through the middle jungle path to get through. So, as it needs like an animation from Indy or another character, the game knows that it's got it on... Well, the game doesn't know it's programmed, so that it goes... Ah, I need disc 10 to get that little asset, and I need disc 3 for this other asset. So you have to keep swapping out your um, discs all the time. And with 11 discs it, it becomes a, a bit of a feat. I mean I could technically install it onto the hard drive because this particular um, Amiga, the 600HD uh, and also an Amiga 1200 actually have uh, a hard drive. Uh, and I think the hard drives are sort of like 40 megabytes. So not gig, but 40 megabytes. Um, but yeah, so uh, but yeah, if you're in, if you're interested in any sort of retro -y sort of stuff, I pretty much only ever play. Well, no, I only ever play with um, actual hardware. Thanks for following. Mike's good. Um, and and yeah, and I try and show it off on stream. So uh, as I'm going through all the games of yesteryear, I'll be streaming a lot, mostly in the evenings, but a little bit during the days on some days. Right, so how do you get over here? So she just appeared over there somewhere. Oh look, trinkets. Boy, we're off bushwhacking. I found a path. Oh, thanks very much. Okay, what do we do now? Let's just ask her. But, I mean, this game, there's something really interesting about this. Like I say, it's my first playthrough of this game. I've not really um, got any idea what it's about. I understand the Nazis are involved because that was the storyline of the Indiana Jones movies. Um, the um, the thing is with it, it seems to be a lot more complex than any other 
point and click that I've ever used. Mr. Jamesy, thank you very much for that follow. All the follows, awesome. But it is a lot more complex because there's um there is a bit where you can switch characters, so you can go from Indiana Jones to um, this lady here, Sophia. Now, back in the 90s, that was pretty unheard of. It, yes, it was in things like, um, oh, we need to talk to this parrot over here. Let's give that a go. But yeah, it was in things like The Lost Vikings, if you like that, which I've got on my snares. Uh, and I'm going to play that one through at some point. But to actually do that with the limited memory of an Amiga and all these assets is quite an amazing feat. Talk to the parrot. Let's try probably one a cracker. Thanks for the follow. Was that Alfred, Alfred Dottogolo. I'm ever so sorry for absolutely ruining that name, but I didn't quite catch it. But awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for the follow. Now, this parrot will be important. One of the things that you've got to remember about retro games is if they've put an asset in, they've spent time, they've spent energy, but more than that, they've spent memory space. So they don't put things in just for flavour, usually. It's got to have a reason. Now, I might not have everything I need to get the reason out of it just yet. But, that's what you've got to always be thinking with these games. Right, I don't think we're getting anywhere at the moment. Let's have a bit of a look. Um, what I was saying a bit earlier on, was that, because uh, I've been playing this for about two and a half hours so far, and I was going to switch over to a more action-y sort of game, a driving game, uh, it would be uh, Lotus Turbo Challenge, more than likely. So, if you fancy uh, that, that'd be cool. But, as we seem to be making a bit of progress into um, this game, I might just stick with it for a little bit, and then get another save in. And this is the other one, anybody that's not from the 90s. Here's the way I save. This is the way you've got to save things. You've got to have a blank disc, and you've got to save each time. So, you know, it's no, uh, there's no hard drive or anything. If I didn't save, that's it, gone. Like what I've been doing with Cannon Fodder. So I was playing Cannon Fodder over and over, over, and over again. I couldn't find a blank disc that I could use. But now I have got one. I'm going to be playing some Cannon Fodder um, maybe this evening. So, uh, no, thanks, mister. <laughs> I hope you can see the uh, text well enough on this stream, because what I'm not going to be doing is talking out all the dialogue. I'm trying to just play the game. I do tend to talk to myself when it comes to things like this, because I want to know what option. I've got to try and get into the mind of the developers and mind of the programmer that actually put it all together. Often there's little hints as well, especially if it's a certain um, publisher and you know certain people would work on things, you get into their sense of humour. So things that don't make actual sense on paper would make sense if you understand the games that they've done previously as well. So that that's just one little thing you can take into account. So what can you tell me about Plato's Lost Dialogue? Okay, we're trying to find out about that. What can you tell us about the temple? I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Okay. We'll go for, we're just gonna go through all of the tree on this one. Any of you guys from B42 that just dropped in? Did you, do any of you come even from the era of the 90s, of, uh, of this sort of retro era? I mean, have any of you played an Amiga in real life and not just the ROMs? Have you heard and, and have loved that grindy noise of the disk drive? That's the thing. Tell us about Mr. Smith. And thanks once again for the raid. It's so good to see all the uh, all the hype in the chat. It's great. One of the things I'm finding out about B42, 
it is um I, you know i was recommended um b42 as like a really nice social community to go into and although i don't get a chance to be on discord as much as i want i definitely read through everything give us some info about the temple Civilized, yeah. So this is kind of like this game has got a bit of a so a fate of Atlantis. Obviously, people have heard about Atlantis most of the time, but it's it's trying. It's basically the the Nazis are trying to develop like a powerful means of energy production or even a weapon, more likely. And they're just looking at lots of different things. One, they're trying to split the atom. they you know for the nuclear power. They're looking at uranium and things like that. But they're also trying to go down the mystic side of things, so they're trying to uncover how these large um, civilizations, ancient civilizations, were able to, to accomplish so much. And there's like a hint of aliens, there's a hint of mysticism, uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's very Indiana Jones. If you just think Indiana Jones, any of those movies pretty much touches on the whole science, archaeology, mysticism you know a little bit of you know weird stuff and a little bit of cool stuff and then usually nazis as well um yeah we'll go with that we'll go with the arrogant approach and what we might have to do is swap over to sophia and see if we can get more out of him because she she has so far got more info out of male characters let's just try this see if we can get anywhere with it and if not we'll swap over to her came to the wrong place. What kind of room is all, all the new dialogue options? Men who are not men. men who are not men. <laughs> Trying to snake through men for heads. Okay. Do you actually believe it when he's lived here? Try asking him the same question again. He's probably going to turn it down again. Nothing's changed, I don't think. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue place. Okay, right, so. Ah, okay. Um, the Socrates, no. Glutus Maximus. The bum! Ah. I know he's not the answer. No, I don't know it's the answer, but you know what I mean. It's strange that the bird reacted to us. Okay. We're going to swap over to Sophia. I'm just going to see if interacting with the trinket stand will get him back again. See if it's a different dialogue box. And then hit save. We're going to save 
and then we're going to have a play of something else um, for the you know for a little while, just something a bit more actiony. No, we've got no option to change to a okay. Talk to that parrot. Since he reacted, it might have opened up some think with him. Hollow blue hop. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah. From the Hippocratic Oath. Right. What else we got? I don't know what that means. Right, let's see if we can get a bit more dialogue then into the parrot, and then we're going to play something else. So there was Socrates as well. Oh, here we go. This is new. We'll go with this. No? Okay. Skip, skip, skip. One of the things you do have to um, get used to now is the time you know it takes to do things and what I mean by that is you know back in the 90s yeah you're swapping discs over you're playing these games and all this other if you click something like now we're gonna have to reset that over and over and over again um, a little bit brute forcey to try and get what we want and we have to wait for the animations and all those sort of things I mean if you play Wing Commander um, Wing Commander's notorious for a point where you want to uh, you want to move from one scene to another, which you have to do quite a lot. And he he he, the animation walks all the way there, walks all the way up to the steps. It seems to take a minute each time, actual whole minute. And it it's just it's just an absolute labour. So. Back in those days, you you probably had one game. You bought a game, and it was like 40, 40 pounds, thirty five pounds, forty pounds, um, and that'd be the game you'd have until your next birthday. Or try this one, you know. So you'd have a lot of time to actually play these games. Maybe you wouldn't play them as much as we tend to invest in games nowadays. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd, I would spend. Hours and hours and hours, most days playing um, on my Amiga. By the time I got to my Amiga, I was in my early teens, so I'm definitely an old bloke. Right, let's see what we got. See what we got. Why, Socrates? Maybe he's just here to add, like, sort of breaking down what we're after, but we're not getting the... Okay, the only saying the last one we did. Hmm. Okay. Right. I'm going to save here, and then I'm going to find another game to play. Maybe a bit of Lotus Turbo Challenge. Or some cannon fodder. Cannon fodder might be good actually. Alright, let's get our save going. Hit F1. Stick our disc in.
Go to save. And we'll do 17 May 2019 and number three. And while it's doing that, just remind you if you would like to check out any more retro stuff, I've got NES, SNES, Mega Drive, Master System, um, I've got the N64, I've got the uh, Dreamcast, I have a, a Game Gear, a Game Boy, I have the Super Game Boy for playing on the um, Super Nintendo, uh, I've got... Um, what else? PlayStation, PlayStation, I've got lots of PlayStations, PlayStation 2s, um, and then everything in between from then until now, really. Um, and I'm, my intention is to play them all. And uh, I've got tons of games for all of them. So if there's, that's the sort of thing you'd be interested in, it'd be nice if you hit that follow button. And then you get to um, join me again. And that would be wonderful. Because it is always good to find other people who are interested in this sort of thing. I know it's not for everyone. But with the resurgence in retro star games that are coming out on Steam and everything... To know where it all come from, and sometimes even to know how good you got it nowadays, um, with all the RAM and your space on your hard drive, um, it just makes you appreciate what we have now even more, but also makes you appreciate things like this, the amount of programming amazingness that goes into these games. And often they're written in machine code, so it's not like they're using Game Maker or anything like that, they're writing in machine code. Do this, go to that, you know, line one, line two, go to this line. That. It's just, I mean, that's basic like machine code. That's, um, that is a, a high level programming language, but cool. Right, wait me a sec. I'm going to go get some cannon fodder discs and we're going to have a bit of that. Okay, back. Just flicking through these discs. 
Okay. Right. Just going to kill my capture for a second. Otherwise, it will screw off a little bit. Let's power off the Amiga. Get it on here. There you can see we'll get rid of Indiana Jones. But you can see the, um, the Amiga there. Damn, I'd really like to get some better lighting, but there we are. This is it now, boosting up, or loading up. One of the best intros of games in the 90s. Always in my head. So who's played this then? I bet a lot of people have played this on either emulators or um, uh, in some sort of like flash game or something like that online. And of course they couldn't, they come up with this idea after doing Sensible Soccer. And they were, and then they um, started Applying that same sensible style of graphics and gameplay and keep things simple and quick. And I started to apply it to different ideas. I did sim golf, I've no uh, sim golf. Um, sensible golf. I don't know if that was any good or not. I might pick that up at some point. But this this is just a winner. Oh, what I really like about it. Well, not what I really like, but one of the things that I find funny about this, you get a bit of their um, sense of humour, is uh, they put in a, a home and away score at the top. So the, how many you lose and how many enemies you kill becomes your home and away score. Nice little things like that. This two.
There we go. These are lambs to the slaughter. I mean, our potential recruits. All in their football shirts. Okay, Jules and Jops. Let's go. I've been tweaking the, um, the the colours and things that I output because what the way I capture these is um, I have an RGB output from the console, uh, whichever console I'm using, I have RGB out that then goes into an XRGB Mini upscaler, which is a fantastic upscaler with almost zero lag. Uh, that gets it up to a 1080, uh, or I've got it set to a 720 at the moment output. That goes into an HD60 capture, and yeah, and then it goes in. So it's good. So this is all being upscaled to um, HD as best you can, of course. But I found that this is the best way of doing it for me. Wait, I have had to tweak a lot of the settings on the XRGB Mini to try and get a better colour output for the stream because it was coming out quite bland, quite low here we go, keep shooting those guys for a bit but it was coming out quite flat so I've been trying to make it pop a bit more um, the way you know I can see it on my screen uh, and the way it was on the CRTs uh, back in the day so hopefully that's coming through So we'll blitz through a few of these. There's a more, more recruits. Thank you very much. Doing well. I mean, you've got the home and away score. We've killed three of their men, and we've lost none. So, I don't know. Funny. So now we've got a three-man squad. Very simple mission, myth, myth, mission briefing there. If we're just going to go and kill all the enemy, you think that that's exactly what what is done in the forces? You say, all right, lads, we're going to we're going to go over there and we're going to kill them all. Okay, here's our guys. Now, again, is this guy's coming through water. He'll be slow. The one thing, oh, and you can't shoot when you're in water either. The one thing is you've got to try and stay out of water as best you can, and try not to get people to get clipped on the scenery. So we'll, we'll try and stay out of it. We'll get these chaps down here. And you see when they're still, it actually can be quite hard to see them until they start moving about. That guy that was by the tree, I could barely even see him at all. And later on you get things like grenades and rockets and stuff. One thing with this game is also one bullet kills. So if one of your chaps takes a single bullet, that's it, they're dead. Um, to maximise your firing, you want to get them in a line. So you're getting that sort of spray action going on. Although it's not always possible to do that. But when you're facing quite a few enemy, you don't want to be doing it in a line. Because you're effectively just having one little small. Ah, oh, you buggers. Right. So, yeah, you're just going to end up just getting a single spray of bullets. You really need to get that spray going like this, really. 
and I'm, I'm nowhere near very good at, at these games. I just used to play them a lot. Here we go. So we'll just wait for these guys. Here we are. Go back around. Go down. Oh, there's one. There's another. Yay! Yay! We're happy! Trash the enemy HQ. Destroy the enemy buildings. So this is where you're going to get some grenades. Um, or the grenade uh, cases can be blown up as well. So if you if there's um, a grenade um, crate Oh, where are we? There we go. Kill these guys. There's a grenade crate. You've got to be really careful because you actually want to pick it up and then get out of there as quick as you can. Because if you shoot the grenade crate, if any of your bullets hit the grenade crate, you're going to blow your own chaps up. There's also things like oil drums. Get out of the water. There's uh, other explosive items like uh, oil barrels and things. Oh, I didn't see him there. Okay, we're gonna wait. He's gonna get across first. That's just a dead body. It's just a floating dead body. It puts you off a bit. And the enemy firing as well can put you off. And you need to not get stuck on trees. Come on, quick, quick before we get. No, we're going to just lose someone there. Oh no, we've got it. Okay, this. It's a, it's a very simple game, but it's actually. Like a lot of things, it actually gets very hard. It's easy to become overwhelmed with um, what's going on when lots of chaps are running at you. And like I say, you can't always see them. You have sort of a split second before they will open fire. And sometimes like this, they're already firing. Okay, so when you get to a place like this, the houses, the, the these will just keep spawning enemies. Oh, we've lost one. Ah. So we need to find the crate. There it is, the red crate. But we can just shoot it, but we run the risk of losing one of our, or both of our chaps. So we get up. Float up. Done. Right. Let's save it. Test at this um, this other disc that I've got here. Next demo disc. Or we'll save. We lost. Who do we lose? Chops. And you'll see Jops will have a little grave just there. And the number of people that he killed as well. Okay. Right, we're going to go save. I'm going to swap back this disc. And hit the save button. Okay. Oh, okay. So this... Okay, it's not been formatted. I will do that another time. It won't take me two minutes to get back to, um, to there. Right. I 
think. We're going to probably call it there then, because I've got things that I've got to go and do. So I'd like to drop in a, a quick... Um, Quick raid to someone else, if that's okay. Thank you ever so much for hanging around and coming into the chat. If you would like to hit the follow button, that would be awesome. Um, you're effectively saving uh, save, saving me to disc, and the next time you want me, you can uh, come and drop in and see. Let's see who's there. We've got a couple of people to drop in, that'd be nice. So I'm just going to raid into the mother brain, a uh, great retro streamer, um, and I often pop in there, so that'll be cool. Okay, right, thanks very so much, and hopefully I'll get to see some of you guys around soon. And yes, you're right, Pixel Mental, this is a great soundtrack, it seriously, seriously is. And uh, I like most of the things that Central Software do, anything I've played so far, so, but thanks very much, thanks ever so much, B42, that raid is awesome. It's lovely to have people dropping in. Thanks very much. Take care, guys. Thanks. Catch you around.